you have to, so much planning into alcoholism. You have to plan the vodka you're going to get the night before that you need in the morning. And also in you Scotland, need, the booze stops being yeah, served 10 at 10 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you, so you've got to get into the booze at 10. But if, you're, if you've got really bad paranoia, that's not as easy as it sounds. So Why you, is you that? think you're being followed and hunted by organizations, <laughs> getting yourself over to the Sainsbury's. Like, and, you, and you can only go to the Sainsbury's once because you, someone will know you and they might just know you from a gig and they'll be like, hey, and you're like, uh. <laughs> so you then you sneak that and then you go to that one down there. And, uh, There's a lot you have of to plotting. Be organized. Yeah, spend almost all your time doing that. And the rest of the plotting, if you know what I mean. Oh. Uh, so it, yeah. And then you spend an awful lot of time uh, uh, on your own. And then, and then just get, and, uh, funnily, not funnily, but the thing was, is during that hour on stage, I'd be just a mess before I got, but then also, as soon as on stage, I was delivering these great, these, well, not great, but pretty good shows. And that show was like, I kind of knew what had to happen and I was having a, I was sort of breaking down on stage, but trying to uh, incorporate it. I wore a s horse's head on stage with a big cape and spoke from inside the horse's head at the shame of it all. You know, like, but, I, but funny. But I couldn't tell you what it was I said. I've met people who've seen that show and they've gone, oh, that was just brilliant. But it's like but, a breakdown in a mask. But, but did you wear the mask because you were like, well, then people can't see how drunk I am? Uh, no, I wore it because I, I was, it was symbolic of the shame I felt. Okay, got it. 